Hey everyone, welcome back to the NA League Championship Series. I'm Rivington Bism the third here in the interview lounge with Lemon Nation and Sneaky. Cloud9 coming off a another victory, 2-0 oh on the week. Nine straight, you guys are coming up on Dignitas' uh, spring split of the 10 win streak, so looking to break that soon. Coming out with Vane, you guys still made it the 28-minute average game with a late game carry. Why were you allowed to play Vane this time? Uh, it was pretty much a counterpick to Zed, because Vane wins 1v1 versus Zed. Oh, that's not exactly the lane matchup in the beginning, mm -hmm. but late game when Zed's trying to push, Vayne just destroys Zed. And you guys totally didn't go for the Ash Zyra. It was open and kind of went down a few times in laning phase, more than usual. What was the mentality after you guys kept getting hit up? Well, we don't pick Ash versus Zed because she can just get destroyed by that thing. So we wanted to avoid that, basically. What's the point of that? Why, why don't you just position better in that situation? Is it kind of inevitable for Ash to just be hit up by Zed? Yeah, if played right, Zed can fly over the arrow and dodge it completely and just destroy Ash in an instant. So did you guys expect that to be taken away from high this game and to go into the hands of Shifter? Yeah, we did. They play a lot of Zed. We kind of expect them to know we play Zed as well and prioritize it very highly. So Vulcan, or yeah, Vulcan actually, Coast kind of plays the same guys as uh, in the respect of Vulcan. They have the Zac, the, the whatever in jungle that would be Meteos. Some of the top laners are shared there. Do you guys find that Champion Select is kind of harder against them than most teams, like it is with Vulcan? Um, I think Vulcan, it's a lot harder. They play a lot more champions than Coast does. Coast plays a lot of weirder champions, like Riven, a lot of unorthodox champions. They don't overlap with us as much. And do you guys think there's... It always seems to be at least 28 minutes you have a team in their base. Is there something that happens at 10, at 15 minutes that you guys like to control somewhere on the map that makes this happen all the time? This is dragons and towers, and we just know how to push and end the game. Where does that come from? Just solid team play, I guess. We choose good mid-game comps, and we win mid-game, I guess. That's kind of what happens. So would you guys kind of put an emphasis on mid-game altogether with most of your compositions? Then? Yeah, mid-game is extremely important, because it... The team that gets all the dragons is the team that's going to win most of the games, and that's mid-game. How do you guys usually try to prioritize that? Because lane swaps happen quite a bit, and you guys usually are on top. What's that edge on getting the, the mid-game composition and getting what you want? It's all team fighting for mid-game, so choosing a good team fighting comp usually lets us get the dragons and lets us snowball from there. All right, well, you guys are all about team fighting. Last question, facing off against Team Solo mid tomorrow. Obviously, Reginald running that Zed today, and we saw what he did to Zuna's Ash. So kind of the same things in mind going into that game? Yeah, they look, they're looking really strong TSM now, so they'll definitely give us run for, the, for our money. Yeah, I'm glad they're back, too. Oh, all right. Very cool. Well, you guys, good luck against them tomorrow. Good luck for TSM against you guys. Really gunning for the top of the league again, looking for Dignitas' win streak at 10. You guys have nine right now, so best of luck is that, with that as well. We're going to be sending it over to Kobe on the Telestrator in just a couple seconds. We had some amazing games today. He's going to break them down for us, and then Jat and Quickshot.